In 1984, a surprising discovery was made in the jungle of Ecuador, in what is known as La Cueva de los Tejos, in a town called Mana. This event shook the world of archaeology. More than 300 pieces were found. The most flaming of all was an Illuminati pyramid equal to the dollar bill of a very old dating from an unknown culture, it is said that they may have belonged to Atlantis or Lemuria. The pyramid represents the symbol of the illuminated Bavarian of the 18th century and modern Masons, but this object has the same characteristics as the Illuminati symbol. Even today, these enigmatic stones and objects represent a puzzle for science and archaeology. They are not similar to the indigenous cultures of Ecuador or any other country in Latin America, the stones of ICA have nothing to do with this finding, although at first it may seem that they have similarity. Rather they seem to have some correlation with the ancient Egyptians, but these were more than 11,000 kilometers away. The collection belongs to German Villamar, an agricultural entrepreneur who jealously guards these pieces. The writings on the pieces resemble a type of Sanskrit, which is the origin of the languages. You can also observe a mathematical reading. A group of gold prospectors led by engineer Elias Sotomayor, who had explored the jungles of La Mana, Ecuador, discovered in an area where it was appreciated that the land had been exploited by mechanical means for the mining extraction, in the coordinates 0.95 degrees south 79.18 west. There he found a deep tunnel that led to a huge chamber where he came across these artifacts. These pieces seem to have been designed respecting a psychoacoustic geometry, having also magnetic effects of 0. 0.0 and its lithic technology and finishing challenge again the history books and the dates of the first civilizations. They have a similarity to features of the Mayan culture but also present designs reminiscent of the ancient civilizations of Southeast Asia. Likewise, its graphic forms have a feasible comparison with Sanskrit, being able to date these from the time when only one civilization inhabited the planet, but a technologically advanced and culturally developed civilization on a global level. This could mean that in ancient times, there would be a connection between all the ancient civilizations, which would also imply that they were technologically advanced civilizations, which would change our historical concept completely. One of the most surprising features of this finding is the use of calcite in the pieces. Calcite has fluorescent properties that are activated by ultraviolet light. For certain symbols or graphics would go almost unnoticed by the naked eye. But when exposing these pieces to ultraviolet light, certain graphics acquire all the prominence for their light effect. It is as if it were a code, a secret message carved thousands of years ago. The objects of different sizes, and there are discs carved to the detail with geometric mandalas and concentric and eccentric circles, plates with spirals and engravings, in some you can recognize constellations like Orion or the Pleiades, 13 cups of jadeite of different sizes with patterns that are similar to those of the Mayan culture, or contemporary western mystical ideas, humanoid figures in ritual attitudes, snake heads, etc. A map has also been found engraved. The map represents a very old epoch, in which the geographical structure of our planet was different and had not yet given rise to the natural catastrophes reported by all the ancient texts that, among other things, detailed the rise in sea level, but the current continents are distinguishable, while in the coastal area of Southeast Asia there is a delineated land mass that is currently underwater and in the Americas the islands of the Caribbean and the Florida Peninsula do not appear and in their place once more reveals huge land masses that today would be submerged. In the middle of the North Atlantic appears a great island that coincides with the Atlantis of Plato, in the Pacific, below the equatorial line, a continent now non-existent and south of what is now Japan, a third continental mass, which coincides with the Yonaguni underwater finds, is also represented. Another enigma of the map is that between the region where the ancient Babylon was and the site in La Mana where the objects were found, a white line has been drawn that unites them. With respect to the pyramid, as there have not been discoveries to date that prove the existence of pyramids like the Egyptian ones in America, it has been considered a representation of the Great Pyramid of Giza, although strange because of the distance of both terrestrial areas separated by thousands of kilometers. 
but many mysteries are still buried in the jungles of Ecuador. It is grey, with small incrustations in gold at its feet that represent the constellation of Orion, and other glyphs with indecipherable characters, a German professor who is president of the linguistic society of that country, Kurt Childman, said that he could translate this cryptic text as, the creator's son is on the street. All the stones of La Mana reacted under the ultraviolet light, some forming numerous constellations that shone as if they were stars in the firmament, but in the case of the pyramid, their eye begins to emit its own light originating blue flashes. These flashes have an engraving and the letters that appear, very similar to the text of the manuscript Voynich not yet deciphered and with the writing of the island of Easter, are of the pre-Sanskrit, reason why they would be older than the first known writing. Currently, the stones of La Mana are part of the private collection that German Villamar has in Ecuador, who received the collection supposedly as a donation or bequest by Dr. Sotomayor.